Oh, I see what you did there. Now, one wonders if the sweetness of a relationship can be transferred to a co-owned business. Well, Carrie and Javon Wright are bringing too much sweetness with their King of Pops cart. So thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Thanks for having us. All right, so King of Pops, um, popsicles. Yes. <laughs> Different flavors. All so, natural. <laughs> so tell us why you guys decided to launch your business. Well, we too are big popsicle fanatics. And so we used to chase down this cart. And so when we thought of coming up with our own business concept, being that now we're in Florida, we say that this, we want to give everyone the same opportunity we had to chase down this cart and get themselves a delicious pop. Now, when you guys are out and about, do you have like, you know, music? Cause you know, people hear that music, ice cream, the ice cream. No, nothing like that. We don't have, <laughs> we don't have the music because it's a lot of festivals. So someone is already blasting their music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like, where can people find you? Cause I know you guys are out and about. So you're the king of pops is mobile based yeah. primarily down in St. Augustine. Actually, from Jacksonville to St. Augustine, you, Ponte Vedra, a lot of events there. So if it's in the first coast, we're there. So if you got a sugar fix, you want to keep cool, which you pretty much do all year round around yes, it. Yes. So you talk about your flavors being all natural, but you've got some eclectic flavors. So yes. talk about some of that. So some of our what we call foodie or adventurous flavors are like Thai tea. A lot of our customers love that. And also our banana pudding, which is not banana pudding flavor, it's actual banana pudding in a pop. So, Mrs., who came up with the concept, you or him, and how is it supporting this dream? So, we, so actually we're our franchisees. So, it's, the concepts are come up, uh, came up with in Atlanta. And so we just decide on the pops that we want to share with the First Coast. All right, what are we holding off in there? I know we're, we're just like, it's a reveal. Yes, we definitely <laughs> have to share you. So this is our mango pop. Uh -huh. And so with our mango pop, this is one of our most popular flavors. Like, you can see it for yourself that this is real deal mango. So it's our mango tangerine, one of our best sellers. This is more of our traditional style pop. So is it like you've got real fruit and stuff incorporated? It's not like just some different mixes. You guys no. are really going all natural. Yes, this is, this is all natural. And when I spoke to our more adventurous flavor, I wanted to just point out to you our... I'm scared. <laughs> He's got to go hunting. <laughs> Point out to you, our, this is our Thai tea. See how beautiful that is? That is. This is our Thai tea flavored pop, and which is a big cult favorite for that too. So our flavor range is what makes us so popular, and then the combinations together makes it delicious. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this Thai tea pop. Okay. You guys, <laughs> tell people where they can find you if they wanna know your schedule, see what kind of stuff you have on your menu. So tonight, we'll be at Christchurch uh, for their after, um, for the, their after Monday program. On Friday and Saturday, we'll be at the FinFest, supporting a great cause, obviously. And then on Sunday, we'll be at Davis Park for the Girls Flag Football um, League. Uh, for uh, What is it called? Girl Power. Girl, Girl Power, Power Flag, Flag Football. Football. All right, well, I'm about it. So keep tabs of the rights in the King of Pops cart schedule at kingofpops.com or on Instagram at K-O-P underscore Pontevedra. I like it. Jan, I'll hold one for you. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you, Randy.